don't even know where to begin, guys. I mean, this is just absolutely crazy. So, it is about uh, 1245 on Wednesday. I'm up here in DC and it has already been a crazy week. We've dealt with Ukraine funding of which I voted no. And I have a whole litany of reasons why, and I can explain that to you. But something that I absolutely have to share with you right now is the craziness of the empty shelves Biden movement. And the fact that they are sending pallets, pallets of baby formula to the border. Meanwhile, in our own district at home, we cannot find baby formula. This is a picture from a Target. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. <laughs> okay, we literally are struggling to find baby formula around the country. Moms are struggling going from store to store to store, and then the stores are actually capping the amount of baby formula that they will sell them. But, and this got sent to me by a Border Patrol agent this morning and said, this is disgusting, you will not believe this. They're receiving pallets and more pallets of baby formula at the border. This was taken at Ursula Processing Facility where thousands are being housed and processed and then released subsequently into the United States. So think about this. This is what America last looks like. This is 100% what it looks like. And in response, Congress, we actually, before I even got these photos, we were working with um, our colleagues on the Energy and Commerce Committee and um, ranking member Kathy McMorris Rogers, who is doing a bang up job. She put together a letter that um, they're, they're finalizing right now, going to the White House, going to the administration, demanding answers. And it is hands down one of the most frustrating experiences. So while Congress is trying to basically figure out what all is happening, sorry, I'm getting ready to go to a meeting. Um, so I'm walking out of the office right now. Um, they're sending pallets, pallets of baby formula to the border. And if that doesn't infuriate you, I don't know what will. Um, it is police week in Washington, DC. As you can see, the team is getting ready for police week we're very very excited um it officially kicks off today and so we're looking forward to seeing all of um our men and women from around the district around the state and from around the country and um we're putting on um as much as we possibly can for them while they're here so if you are a um, law enforcement officer or you are a family member and they're going to be in D.C. and y'all are going to be in D.C., come by our office, Longworth, uh, 1626. But I'm telling you guys, if this does not infuriate you about what is happening with the shortage of baby formula, I, I, I just, I, I find that absolutely inexcusable, unconscionable that they are doing this. Um, so I, I just, I, guys you gotta pay attention to what is going on here. And this, like I said, is what happens when you have an America last president. That is what happens. I, I, the pictures that I received from the Border Patrol agents, it breaks your heart, literally pallet after pallet after pallet. And you can go to the gas station, you're paying twice as much, if not more, for gas. Inflation is causing everything to go through the roof. The supply chain is broken. Everything continually points to the fact that with an open border policy and leaving Americans in Afghanistan and, and basically crushing the middle class in America, that is what this administration is all about. They hate everything about Donald Trump so much so that they're willing to hurt their own citizens. And to me, that is absolutely outrageous. Um, we are getting ready, Larry and I. Say hey, Larry. Hello. <laughs> We are getting ready to head to a meeting and um, I'm just, like I said, very frustrated and wanted to share with you guys what was going on. Um, we met with Border Patrol this morning in um, our conference meeting. You guys all know Brandon Judd, who's the president of the Border Patrol Council. And he talked at length about what's happening um, up and down the border, the fentanyl, the gotaways, the crime, the, and the individuals that are on the international terrorist watch list. They were, hey, what's up? California in the house right there. Um, we were talking about 
all of these issues and I have never seen our officials and our Border Patrol more frustrated and worked up um, than they are right now. And it's just, it, it's heartbreaking. So I just walked out of the office and we are, like I said, headed to a meeting, um, but it's gonna be a wild day. We've got a very, very lengthy afternoon of votes and um, there's a lot on the docket. Yesterday, like I said, there was the Ukraine funding, um, $40 billion. I did not support it. And there's a whole list of reasons why. The other thing was um, unionization of congressional staff. I do not support forming a union for congressional staff. And so I voted against that as well. So lots of stuff going on this week and it is gonna be a doozy. And on top of it, we've got police week, which is amazing. We get to honor and really show our respect and appreciation and gratitude for our law enforcement and their families. So I'll keep you guys updated all throughout the week. I'll probably do another video um, later today to talk about police week and what we got going on. But wanted you guys to know, you can help us get the word out about this America last policy that they're pushing with the baby formula. Expose what is happening at the border. Help us out by sharing this video and man, we got a lot of work to do, but we will get it done. I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye.